I just... <sighs> I'm with Lucario. You already know that if you saw my other videos. Or my channel. Anyways. This video is about talking about Windows 7. How it ended its life. Yes, which one should should we use between Windows 10 and Windows 7? Well, support for Windows 7 ended on January 14th, 2020, which is this year. It even says you may be vulnerable to security risks. Well, Windows 7 has been around for a long time. Probably 11 years. And I don't think they're going to bring it back. It's it's over. It's done. Windows 7 was always vulnerable to attacks. This can, this thing is... Windows 10 started in 2015. Five years, to me, isn't a really long time. So... Yeah. But... Viruses have gotten stronger, but there's only well not a lot of Windows 10 machines get get to a PC repair place because they don't need to. A lot of PC repair techs, they don't, would tell you they only had to fix a few. And that's it. I mean. The security updates, in my opinion, are, for Windows 10, are a lot more smoother. And a lot more quicker. You can just turn your computer on and off. You can just turn your computer off and on and and it'll update. You can update it the old fashioned way or you can restart your computer and and yeah. I hope you see where I'm going with this. I mean There's, it does pretty good for a new system. A lot of you are, I have been arguing on other people's videos in the comments about 
the privacy and I think Windows 7 gets the number one spot. But other than that, it's it's not really a good thing anymore. I mean, it's now a fad. It's it came and it went. Windows 7 has been a, around for a long time. Just like Windows XP, people had a lot of drama back in the day when its life cycle ended. They did have, they do have an extended program where you can receive security updates for Windows 7 but it costs a fort but it costs a fortune it's at the phase where it's coming to an end. People would say that updates aren't a big deal. Well, think of it like this. You wouldn't drive your car if, if you couldn't give it gas or, or check the brakes. Everything has to come to an end at some point. I mean, you just gotta deal with the fact that you need to move on with the future. And let go of the past. I mean, if you... Once Microsoft says it's over, it's over. It will be... There will be no more support for Windows 7. Windows 7's... Windows 7 is just done. It's over. I'd rather... They do have... Features in Windows 10 for... They do have extra features in Windows 10 about stopping the updates for the pro users, but the home users are a little bit, have a little bit less control over them. You can pause them for seven days on either one. But I, and yes, there are, there are, there is a bug or two and. in the Windows 10 updates, but I'd rather have an update with a few bugs once in a while instead of having to have no support at all. I think the H played a big factor in this. It's pretty new, so... Yeah, so it's... It's common, but it's new. I think five years is kind of new for a whole market of computers that's kind of new for the market windows 7 updates were very slow and and you would have to and you'd have to get it to work manually well this is 
Well, Windows set. Well, Windows Ten is automatic. I know I stutter a lot in my videos, but back on topic. I. I think Windows 7 was is really slow and and not it was doomed from the start lots of lots of Nasty ransomware viruses and whatever they're, whatever the hell they're calling, whatever the hell they're calling them nowadays, got in and took over the whole, and took over the system. Now with stronger security, I think... I think without a doubt Windows 10 is probably a better option but some companies can't use Windows 10 because their products are only compatible with Windows 7. I mean, again, five years. It's, it would be kind of new to, to viruses and stuff. They haven't really made it strong enough. They're they're, I bet they're making it strong enough to where they can bypass the security, but it's just too new. Do I still think so? I think the results speak for themselves. Windows 10 gets first place, but let me know in the comments what what kind of operating system is the best. I mean, it's just time to let go of the past and move on with the future. Yeah, bye.